there are four key questions that you need to ask any homeowner who calls you or gets in touch with you and want to construct a biodigester. These questions are very key and it gives you the understanding whether this is a job that you can do. So here are the four key questions to ask before constructing a biodigester. The first key question to ask anybody who is interested in constructing a biodigester and they get in touch with you is to ask them the kind of property that they do have. This one is key because then it gives you the perspective in terms of what you are going to encounter. The kind of facility that they do have or the kind of property that is there that they intend to construct the bio digester for. This means that is it a residential property? Is it for commercial use? Is it a school? Is it a church? Is it a warehouse? I mean, the question is, is it a public toilet? Is it a community project that they are doing and they want to consider a bio digester? as the option for their human waste management system, then you have a fair understanding of what is it exactly that you are getting yourself into. So if it's a four bedroom house, then you know that obviously this, you are looking at a standard size bio digester construction. If it's a large family house, then you are looking at a bigger, a bigger higher usage, or probably the lifestyle of the family is going to determine the kind of bio digester you have to construct for them. So the, the first and most important question you have to ask any prospective client or homeowner who is interested in your job or who is interested in constructing a biodigester is to ask them the kind of facility or property that they do have and they intend to construct the biodigester for. The second most important and key question you have to ask before you consider biodigester construction is to know the number of toilet seats that are in the property. You need to know the number of toilet seats that are in the property. If it's a residential house, and you are told it's four bedroom house, the next key question to ask is how many toilet seats are there? Because you do know, and I know in some properties, even though it's four bedroom house, they have five toilet seats there because each room has got a toilet and then there's one toilet downstairs for visitors who come to the house. So you cannot assume that because it's a four bedroom house, the toilet seats are going to be four. There are some houses where the rooms are five or four, or three and there's only one toilet seat so you need to understand and have a fair idea of the number of toilet seats that you are going to work with before you actually start your your project or go ahead with the conversation and because sometimes you need to know this to know the number of biodigesters you have to construct to know the type of biodigester and the size of biodigester you have to construct it's key you get the permutation right even if possible the person is very knowledgeable about their building or they should send you a drawing or they should send you the original plan of the house so that you see where the biodigester toilet seats are located. This helps you to understand whether you are going to place the biodigester in the L shape. It's going to go in the front because the slope and the gradient is going to the front or it will have to go to the back because that's where the slope or that's where they've all been directed to. And then it gives you a fair understanding of the type of biodigester you are going to construct. It should be a large size, should be a standard size. Then you come to the conclusion based on the number of toilet seats that are in the house. So it's key to know the number of toilet seats. If it's a public toilet they are constructing, you also need to know because then probably you have to consider how many biodigesters you are going to construct for the number of seats. If it's a 20 seater, you should know the number. I mean, you should have a fair understanding. And then you should also know where the toilet seats are going to be located. Are they going to be shared? Are they going to face each other or whatever the situation is? If it's a warehouse, probably the toilet seats are not going to be many, but there are going to be a lot of users of the facility. So you need to know where they are going to be placed. Is it by the side? That question is very key when it comes to biodigester construction, the number of toilet seats that are in each property and facility. I would like to know if you are getting any value so far from the video. And if you are getting this value, then please go ahead and give a thumbs up and like this video. And if you are also new to the channel, then you can subscribe and be part of this growing community of biodigester lovers. The third key question that you have to ask anybody who is interested in construction and biodigester is to know the location of the facility or the project or the property. It is key because I've done biodigesters before where I have gone ahead and asked all the other questions and I didn't ask the location of the property and I was told later that the project is in Tamale. Meanwhile, I've gone ahead and done my quote and given my estimate to the prospective client. 
and then I was looking bad because then I had to come back and tell them if it's Tamale, then obviously some additional costs will be incurred for this particular project. So it's key you know the location from the onset so that you can factor it into your cost. Usually when you do construct a biodigester, we do have biodigesters that we consider Accra price and then we have them that we consider outside Accra. Because if I'm going outside Accra and I give you a price, a standard price, and I have to go outside, transportation costs and other, our sleeping place where we have to sleep, accommodation and all those other factors will have to be taken into consideration. It will have to be factored into the project before you can come out with a good estimate and then you'll be happy with the job that you are doing and your margins that you are looking at will be maintained. So it's key you also find out the location of the project. If the project is in Accra, then you have to ask the exact place in Accra to know how to get to the place and to have the clear understanding of what is it that you are looking at. And it also helps you to know, because you have been constructing by digestion for a long time, if they tell you Accra and they tell you it's Dansoman and uh, you know that probably you are going towards the sea and most of the land there is, is waterlogged. Or if they tell you some other place, I know in Tema, some parts of Tema, the new areas, the Fienya and Gulf City, if you do have a project there, 99% of the time, the soil is not good, it's clay, and you have to either consider soak away as a wastewater option. And then you come to the conclusion that, look, for this particular job, I have a feeling this is what we are going to meet. Even though I'll come and do the inspection, and I'll come and do the assessment, I have a fair idea that, look, in this area, this is exactly what we are going to meet. And if you're lucky, the homeowner will tell you, yes, in my land there, Charlie, it's clear, oh, the water does not soak. On my land there, it's waterlogged, it doesn't go. Let's say somebody tells you it's a waterlogged area, then you can equally go ahead and ask them how high is the water table, if they do have a fair idea of it. Or you can ask them how, how whether they have raised the footing of the burden. Because if it's a waterlogged area, ideally the, the footing of the burden has to be raised enough so that you can get enough elevation and you, do, you are not going to... Uh, uh, you, and then you do not have to bury the biodigester because it means the biodigester has to be up for you to have enough room to do your work. So it's a key question to ask the location for a biodigester construction before you consider the job. The fourth most important question you have to ask before constructing a biodigester is to know the time frame for the construction. You do not want to give an estimate for a biodigester constructor and the person shows up in a year later, you have given them a discount and then you do not hear from them. And six months later or a year later, they get back to you and you are told that, look, we agree on this biodigester construction six months ago. It is now that I'm ready for the construction. And then you have to come and do the job for me because you have given them a quote already. You need to ask them to get an understanding of the time frame for the biodigester construction. Some will tell you, oh, I'm considering moving in three months time. We are not moving there right now, but this is where we have gotten to right now, and this is what we have to do in the house. We have done the ground floor, we've, we've done the tiling, we have done our works, and then the pipes have all been laid, and then we have to do the biodigester. Or we have done our POP, we have done our ceiling and everything, we have done the roofing, and we have done our rendering or plastering, and we think it's time to have by the biodigester done. And then you have a fair idea. When you are giving your estimate, then you know that you can factor it into it. Because prices keep changing day in, day out in our part of the world. You have to factor it into your biodigester cost if you are going to construct a biodigester from somebody. So the time frame for their construction is key. You need to know that as one of the key questions to ask anybody who is interested in constructing a biodigester for their dream house. It's a channel dedicated to those biodigester lovers who are interested in how biodigester work and how they can use it as an option in terms of their human waste management system. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe and be part of us. This video that is showing up next on the channel will explain to you by digesters how they do work and then gives you the understanding, the disadvantages and advantages of how by digesters work and how you can use it as an option for your home when it comes to the toilet wastewater management.